Thief 2 The Metal Age short video game review. With the series blow having been dealt to the pagans, the Hammer Order rejoices, but many, you know, leave the Hammer Order because the Hammer Order insists on maintaining the, the discipline and not further progressing, and this a new religious faction is formed. The Mechanists, who focus on crafting newer, more advanced machinery, including robots and security cameras. Garrett finds himself a target and has to unravel a conspiracy in order to keep himself safe, which is, of course, the only reason that he gets involved with the main plot. This has much more plot and it starts much sooner. The first one focused more on the world building and this is then an adventure within the world that the first one built up. The levels are bigger and all, you know, for stealth. There's, you know, there's like two of them that don't that, that aren't non-linear, and one of those two you can still actually explore. As much time and effort as you put into the game is as much as you'll take out of it. You can spend hours just exploring them. A level might take you an hour and a half, or even two and a half hours, to complete if you go through it perfectionistically. And you have several new items and weapons to, to well, specialized errors rather, to help deal with the new challenges and further allow you to use stealth. Everything in the game is stealth. Now, you're never forced to, you know, straight up just fight something that, it, you know, you can always use stealth, basically. And it's, it's much more urban this time with a police station, a bank, mansions for you to break into, and it's, it very much shows what happens when one side of the two, you know, the, the conflict that the first set up of, you know, society versus nature, technology versus chaos when one of these two sides, that being technology, having won. And, yes, again, the, the, there are pros and cons to both sides, and it's very much just something that... It's, that no, no judgment is passed on these things, it's just that the game explores them rather fairly, I'd say. We again have a, you know, realistic physics engine with, you know, hiding in light, light and darkness behaving realistically, sound traveling realistically, and you and enemies both use sound to tell where the other is if you can't see each other. The new additions fare really well with very creepy robots that basically they're, they're humanoid in shape but they're taller than humans, and big, bulky things that only a few... There, there are only a few ways to dispatch with these. And again, it's very much about being stealthy, not getting into too many fights. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.